So what you ideally, of course, if there's a, uh, a dependent situation in a custody situation, whether it's a divorce or just a, a child, single child situation who has custody over them, you would like to get that straight from the start and work into any kind of divorce or custody agreement, the tax implications, because they can be significant so that you don't run into these problems of, of kind of battling over uh, who, who files first to try to claim the dependent and then, uh, and, then, and then getting into struggles with the IRS, which ultimately leads to lawyers. And everyone knows the only one wins in those situations are the lawyers who further make you fight further because they love it. They just get more money from it. All right, exception to time lived with you. Okay, so temporary absences by you or the other person for uh, special circumstances such as school, vacation, business, medical care, military service, or detention in a juvenile facility count as time lived in the home. So we saw some of the qualifications are come up to what about the time lived with you? Did they live with you for more than half of the year? And you can imagine a whole bunch of these kind of situations where it's like, well, it seems like it should still qualify. So these are those general kind of exceptions. Also see kidnapped child later under who qualifies as your dependent if applicable. So if the person whom you kept up a home was born or died in 2023, you still may able may be able to file as head of household. So if person is your qualifying child, the child must have lived with you for more than half the part of the year the child was alive. If the person is anyone else, you can see publication 501. 